So what is the difference between clay buildup and clay and clay tubes? Clay buildup, clay and clay tubes. Now if you notice, they all say base type equals clay. They've got a number above them, three, five, and those are my hotkeys. Don't let me go without explaining hotkeys. Uh, so clay buildup, clay, and clay tubes. What are the differences? First off, let me make sure you know what to look for when you're trying to find the differences. Because I have to do this too, you know. Um, I, I don't have, you know, midnight meetings with uh, the dev team and they explain everything that they've done. They, uh, you know, they explain a lot, but there's always a ton left, you know. And even when I was at uh, in development, I still had to still have to figure a lot out because the developers are, are just crazy developing all this amazing stuff. So getting it explained is difficult. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how I figure that out. Okay, the the first thing you need to know about brushes is all the elements they're comprised of. So let's go and say here's my brushes. You need to know the type the algorithm clay brush standard brush move brush polish brush what kind of brush is it because that's the algorithm you saw the clay brushes behavior was to either flatten or pull up based on z add or c sub every brush has a different algorithm the other thing is brush modifiers so that's everything in the brush palette it's also the alpha. So everything there and everything right in there. Any texture you have, this is more important for um, the pen brush. Stroke, that's really important. So I'll do that one in green. And that's things like lazy mouse, curve mode. So I literally, when, I, when I'm looking, I will go, I'll open up these palettes and I'll just switch brushes and I'll check what are the differences in each and every one of them. Uh, and then also the picker palette, which is right up here. Hidden, but crazy important. Z uh, yeah, very important. So what... Uh, brush mod settings do I need to really be thinking about? Well, you need to know depth, samples, you need to know modifiers. You may need to check alpha and texture. You may need to check auto masking and you may need to check tablet pressure. The rest of these tend to be less significant. Curve is important, but you don't see a major difference. The primary thing is depth, samples, modifiers. And then if anything else was crazy important, I would say it's probably tablet pressure. But not as important as modifiers. So let's kn knowing that, let's take a look. We have clay buildup. Depth is by default set to 20. And then what's the clay brush set to? 10. And clay tubes? 10. Okay. Is there a different alpha? Clay tubes and clay buildup have the exact same alpha. Clay does not because that's the source. That's the original algorithm. Let's go back to clay buildup. So depth isn't terribly significant. It, they all raise it. I wouldn't say anything there is different than the other. Let's go into samples. What's different between these two brushes? Well, buildup has buildup active. You don't see it right now because I'm drawing on the screen, so it's showing this clip brush because the hotkey. But as soon as I Escape out of that, you see buildup. Clay tubes doesn't have it. 
hover control over that and let's read about it because Pixelogic spent time to, to write this. Actually, some of these are mine. <laughs> I love I love going back and let's see, is uh, AA half? Oh, see if they still have, oh no, they got rid of the imagery. There we go. I love looking up those guys. That one, that one, that's mine. Okay, build up. Build up is an important thing for me to talk about, but let's first, before we get to build up, let's see, is there anything different in modifiers? Nothing different in modifier. Anything different in tablet? Well, you've got some changes in the curve, but those are just going to change intensity. They're not going to change the actual behavior. Anything different in picker? Continuous orientate. Continuous orientate. Anything different in stroke? Looks like clay buildup has lazy mouse set to one. So we have two differences. Buildup and lazy mouse. Those are the two differences between the clay buildup and the clay tubes brush. And in essence, the clay brush really just doesn't have any of that. Because again, it's the base algorithm. So no buildup. Um, shouldn't have anything significant in modifiers. It's going to have total default stuff here for stroke and the picker is continuous. So the real question is what's the difference between clay tubes and clay buildup? Here's a clay stroke. Here's a clay tube stroke and I'm going back and forth. I went back and forth ten times. Here's clay buildup. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Let me ask you. What's the difference between clay tubes and clay buildup? Think for a second and explain what's the difference between these two strokes. Definitely the depth of it. Definitely the buildup. But what does that build up mean? What it means is that if this is, let's start down here. If this is the, uh, let me orientate this so it's a little easier to draw. There we go. This green line is the surface. Let's do white. The white line is the surface. The clay brush raised a little bit, as did the clay tubes brush. And no matter how many times I brushed along it, it stayed the same. And this was defined by depth. Remember, 10 was what this was set to. But what buildup does is buildup will, will build up, so it does one stroke. And then the next time you run your brush over it, instead of using the white line as the, uh, as the sample for its depth, it builds on top of itself. So it'll build another block, and then it builds another block, and then it builds another block, and another block, and another block, and another block. And, another block. and depending on where you go with that stroke, things can start to get precarious and you start to pull in and things start to happen crazily but basically the difference is that build up setting and the build up setting says every time you create every time you go back over the surface every time your brush will go one way and then the other you're going to resample the depth and it just keeps adding form It will continue to build up and build up and build up and build up. If you have build up on, then it will never stop. It only stops when things like this happen, which is it just loses stability. It's a house of cards. You're building a house of cards here, and that's the nature of the algorithm. 
because your stroke may go over here one time and then over here one time and then over there one time and over there it's going to be sampling at different points and then occasionally it breaks down and that's what we have here it broke down but what it allows me to do is build form quickly so I can come in and say alt click zoom all right I just pushed a cavity in there now I can build that back and I get a nice little spacing in there can't do that with any other brush so clay buildup is is crazy important to this entire process very 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 important uh, but you do have to be careful of that loss of control 